CAD clip we're going to show you how to create a uh, sloping um, cricket effect here with our built up insulation. What we've got in here is I've just got a roof in here that is using a uh, slope arrow so this roof is sloping from here down to this area. We're just going to do some modeling in over here and create a nice little built up effect with a sweep blend. So. Um, We'll start that off and what we'll do is go to our component um, button on our ribbon and we'll say model in place and this starts the in place uh, family editor which is how we're going to do this and then we're going to uh, specify that it is of roof category which will help us with our visibility and scheduling etc. Display so we can say roof category and I can give this a name. Okay, I'm going to model this in half and then flip it over, mirror the other half and then do some join geometry and some cleanup. So now that I'm in the family editor, I go down to my solid button and I say a sweep blend, which is a path and two profiles, which is quite nice and you can have more than um, one segment on that path as well. So sweep blend, we start that tool and then when we start the tool we can either pick the path or we're going to sketch the path and I find the pick path isn't working really well at least in this model so I'm using the sketch path so I start the sketch path and sketching in a 3D view here is not really the best thing to do so if I just go to the south elevation you can see that I've got a level one and I've got a roof and if I go over here and I switch this to be um, wireframe we can see there's my sloping roof okay and my roof level is right up there so what I'm going to do is go to my roof plan and before I start to sketch in the uh, path which is what I'm doing I want to make sure that I'm up at the roof um, level as far as my work plane goes because I've been switching views and I started this in a 3D view I'm not convinced that even though I'm on the roof level my work plane is at the roof level so I'm going to go back to my home tab and over here I'm going to say set and inside of there I'm going to discover that because I started in the 3D view it had a work plane of level 1 I want to switch that to be work plane level roof which is critically important okay not actually critically important but it is important so now I can start to um, sketch my lines back to here my contact sensitive tab and I use my pick um, my line option not my pick option and I'm just gonna draw a line this is the path that goes from here to the midpoint of the wall I don't have to lock or do anything and I can say okay you know finish the path from there I need to sketch my two different profiles okay so what I want to do is zoom in here the one that is the more faded is the active one so that's my profile one if I say modify profile two I can start with profile two I want to go back to profile one which is this guy down here and then I will say edit profile I could load a profile or this is my sketch option so edit profile and it's going to prompt me well you need to switch views I'm gonna to go to the south view and open up that view so now I'm in there there's my um, base point and I can say okay I'll just use the line tools and I'll go from here down to say here over to there and up to there okay that's it finish profile one okay now I'm going to modify profile two modifying profile two I'm going to say now Profile 2 is at the other end of this, right? Okay, Profile 2 is over here. But I can still draw that from my south elevation. Okay, So I will say edit that profile. And I will just use the line tools. And I'm going to basically go like this. Okay, And if, if that starts trying to be straight, you'll zoom in and you can actually make that follow the top of that existing roof. Escape, escape combining these two profiles will give me what I want so I finish the profile okay and then I can say finish the sweep blend okay I'm almost out I could fi hit finish family but what I want to do before I s finish this I can do this from any view I'm gonna go to a 3d view and that's the shape that I just created right profile one profile two okay but I'm gonna select it I'm gonna go into the element properties I'm going to change the material not don't pick this as the parameter button pick right over here just inside I'm gonna go down and say you know rigid insulation okay it's got a cut pattern looks like that hit OK hit OK 
click out, now I can finish the entire model. Okay. Now I can go to my roof plan and simply mirror that object over. Click on this uh, in place sweep blend and I'll go to mirror and I can pick the mirror by axis or whichever one off the fly out. Click on here, mirrors that over, click out, escape and I'm done with that. So in my roof plan here I can go SD on the keyboard for shaded mode and if I want to get rid of that little valley line all I have to do is go to my uh, modify tab and I say line work and I set my line to be invisible you can pick on there one two escape escape I've got that effect in there or you can leave the line in it's up to you go back to my 3D view shift middle mouse button Okay, there's my tapering roof and I can go in again with my line work tool using invisible lines one two, get rid of that and now I can go to my annotation tab and I can add in some spot elevations by picking on some points here 10 feet along there 10 feet at that point there's my low point right there 8 foot 8 and I have a point up there 8 foot 11 okay and then my highest point is going to be this guy over here somewhere along there 9 foot 11 so there's our tapering cricket and now we can use the opening tool or whichever we want to actually model in that roof drain if we wanted to go further and now for my cross section let's go back to my roof plan uh, let's go to the view tab of our ribbon and let's go in and draw a nice little section here section across here click click I don't need the back plane to be that far I can bring this up to well I pro let's just say I want to see to the back wall clicking out double click on my section goes inside of there I can change my scale level of whatever I want and I, actually this um, roof is got the insulation but because this is set to be coarse detail it's not showing it so I'm going to set that to be medium detail and now I will go in and use my join geometry to say join join geometry join this piece of roofing object with that piece of roofing object gets rid of that seam line in between once again I can go to annotate and start putting some spot elevations in here if I want very nice extremely nice so there is the section and I could go in here now if I wanted to and go view and tile my views there's my section there's my 3d view there's my elevation okay with wireframe and there's my roof plan I could also add some um, spot elevations on here as well